test. We are underway. The athletes are being told right now, work until I tell you to stop by their judges. They don't know the movements that are ahead of them. Their judges will inform them at every station. Matt Fraser is the overall leader looking for his third straight title of fittest man on earth. He has a 92-point lead on second place, Brent Fikowski. Look at the way that this guy works. He finally has that cushion that he's used to. So I think right now we're going to see Matt doing what he does. Look at the way he's moving, looking side to side. He wants to know how hard everyone is going right next to him, and he's got the right people to choose from. Now, Brent Fikowski, we call him the professor because he's a pacing and a strategy master. How do you strategize and pace when you have no idea what you have to come up to? So it's going to be very inter interesting to see just how hard he decides to push himself here. Lucas Hoberg, now I'll tell you what, this guy has been extremely interesting throughout this entire 2018 Reebok CrossFit Games competition. Only one real bad fault in that paddle event. Didn't seem very confident going into this, but he is a workhorse. He has way more endurance and conditioning than I've seen a bigger athlete have. So I think it's going to be fun to have to use for him to use Matt as that rabbit and just kind of stay right on his shoulder the entire time. They need to complete 35 calories on that skier. Craig Kenny and Con Porter are the first two men onto the burpees. Again, they just found out what they have to do. They do not know the repetitions. That is Pat Velder who is moving on to the burpees. They need to touch that strap with every repetition. So Con Porter and Craig Kenny, they're at the far end of the field. They are your leaders. They have to complete 30 repetitions. Now here's what's happening with all these athletes. Since they are not told what they need to do, or they're just told, go until I tell you to, all you have to use as a moniker for anything is the athlete next to you. So if you see someone that's actually moving to the next position, now you know you're coming in close, and now you know that you can really turn on the gas. We saw Fakowski there in the pink in the pink pants, who really does not even have to jump on these burpees. Sorry, Matt Frazier. I know you don't like to talk about the height on this one, but that's definitely not in your favor. Let's send it down to Mike Arsenault, who's on the field. The, the male athletes were sequestered from any view of the field while the women competed, so they were unaware of the parameters of this event. To further enforce the unknown, the women were taken out from one exit, and the men were brought in from a different entrance. Also, the reps and weights have chained for the men here in chaos. Thank you, Mike. So Matt Fraser just needs to hold off the two guys right next to him. And if you think about what, what Fakowski has, usually when you're a taller athlete, burpees are your enemy. Now, because he doesn't have to do any sort of a jump, it's actually working in his favor. The tempo of these two athletes is exactly the same. The Con Porter out of Australia is the first man on to now single arm overhead squats with a 50 pound dumbbell, and they need to complete 40. Five. Wow. Here comes Craig Kenny. Look at that position. That's not very good positioning for Khan. He's got to be careful of that with the reps that he has coming up. Lucas Hoberg right now ahead of Matt Fraser. Good news for Hoberg as he tries to pick up points on the overall leader. Now Brent Fakowski has left Matt Fraser behind as well. And the plus for these other athletes like Fakowski coming up as he gets to look at Hoberg and go, okay, I know exactly what I have to do next. I saw a jump bell out there, but I didn't know what we need to do. Now you know that it's overhead squats. 45 repetitions, and Con Porter is your leader. He is at the very top of your screen among that mass of humanity. He is through 25, now 26, of those 45 repetitions. Pat Velder has had all kinds of just bad breaks throughout this competition, but he is still in contention for a spot on the podium, fourth place overall. Now you saw him make that switch. He is a smart competitor, not just a resilient competitor as we've seen with all those bumps and bruises he's had, but smart. He doesn't know the number that he has to do, but he made that switch again before he needed to. So switch it early. Maybe he has to do 100. He doesn't know. So if you switch it early and not take too long, that's going to play to your favor. Con Porter just about done with his overhead squats, and he is finished. And Porter will be the first man to move on to the next movement. One-legged squats, otherwise known as pistols. He is now basically at the halfway point of this event, and he needs to complete 40 repetitions, alternating legs.
Now, if you watch Khan, he's standing up, but the judge, the head judge, is coming over to make sure he stands up. That's what the judge is going to be looking for. Cole Sager is the other man on the one-legged squats. And now more men moving on to the third movement here in event number nine. There are four events today for the men. They've already done one. This is the second. And two more await them tonight inside the Coliseum. Sunday, the final day of competition. Now, overall leader Matt Fraser, who gets into the one-legged squats just ahead of Brent Fikowski. If Fikowski and Hogberg, the men right next to Matt Fraser, want to pick up points on Fraser, they've got to beat him by a pretty wide margin. Brent Fikowski's 92 points back. The better you do in an event, the more points you receive. Look how fast Matt is going on those pistols. Very quick. Rapid fire. He's not coming up and taking a breather. He's immediately going right back down to the next squat. And that's how he's going to make up distance on Cole and Khan up at the up at the front of this. Fraser right now is 10th in the heat. He's through 20 of those 40 one-legged squats. Con Porter is your overall leader in this heat, in this event, and he is now done with the pistols. And Con Porter. At the left of your screen, moving on to the box jump overs. They will tell them now how many they have. 25 repetitions on this box, up and over, and then they have to pull the slug to the finish line. 42 inches on that box, Cole Sager, Cody Anderson, and Alex Anderson in that army green tank top and the pink shorts. And now Pat Vellner, the blonde-headed man in the sunglasses. Here's Matt Fraser, who is starting to move up the standings here in this event right now. Fraser's in ninth. So what just happened, this is a very tall box for these athletes, 42 inches. So if you are not a taller athlete, it's not going to play to your favor. And on top of that, we just did a whole bunch of overhead squats and those pistols. So that's taken a lot out of you to have to have that explosiveness to get up over that box. Now Brent Fikowski has moved to the box jump overs. Fikowski comes in in second place overall. That's exactly where he finished last year at the 2017 Reebok CrossFit Games, earning a silver medal. Pat Vellner is making quick work of these box jump overs, and Vellner is fighting with Con Porter for the lead in the event. Nice. I love the way that when he comes off, it's a, immediately turn around and go right back up. It's not a long pause at the bottom. Turn and go. This is the fight for the lead. Con Porter on the left out of Australia. And Pat Velder on the right out of Canada. Velder third place overall at the CrossFit Games the last two years. And look at the difference in the tempo between these two athletes. That's why Pat was able to make up the distance. And he's going to keep himself and push himself up into that lead. Felder has just three to go. He's through 23 now of those 25 repetitions. Meanwhile, Matt Fraser is starting to fall back as he now sits in 14th in this heat. That is great news for everybody chasing him. And now Pat Felder wow. moving on to the slug. 400 pounds that he has got to drag and get his feet into that blue paint at the end of the field. So we have blown these guys' legs out on the last three movements. And this is an absolute cherry on top. So Pat just has to keep his head down, keep that lean. Look at that drastic lean. That's awesome. And if you look up at the top, Saxon Panchik, again, a very strong lead. You got to lean into that, use your body weight as much as possible, and drive with those legs. Saxon Panchik is on the left. His older brother is competing on the field as well. That's Scott Panchik, and he is fighting with Pat Velner right now. But Velner is way out in front and has that finish line within reach. Velner a few steps to go. And Pat Velner conquers the chaos wow. and wins event nine. It, <laughs> look at this guy. Man! Huge event win for Patrick Vellner as he will pick up 100 points. And now it's a mad dash to the finish line. Saxon Panchik is in. Alex Anderson, Lucas Hobart, Cole Sager, Matt Fraser and Fikowski badly. We've seen this before. Fraser gets in ahead of Fikowski. 
by about six tenths of a second. No Olsen, Mitchell Stevenson. More men coming across the finish line. Now Scott Panjic is in, but Matt Fraser will hold on to his overall lead as he gets in ahead of Brent Fikowski, but Lucas Hogberg will be able to pick up points on Fraser. More men coming across the finish line. Frederick Gideas, Brandon Luckett, James Newberry, Elliot Simmons, Rasmus Anderson is in, Dean Linder Layton, and then Willie George. This is Adrian Moonviller, who won the opening event on Wednesday, the Criterion Bike Race. Roy Gamboa. Craig Kenny and Urenka are in. Sean Sweeney finishes 27th. It's fast and furious now as Josh Bridges, one of the fan favorites here at the CrossFit Games, is across. One minute to go before we hit the 12-minute time cap. And there's only two men who are not, three men make that, who are not on that slug. Ethan Helbig, a rookie, just crossed the finish line. And that is Zeke Grove from Australia, who pulled off an epic comeback at the regional competition. That's a qualifying event for the CrossFit Games down in Australia to get himself here to Madison. And he is in. And now Ben Smith, who won the 2015 CrossFit Games. His younger brother Alec also in the field. Logan Collins, and this is where it's not fun to be a smaller guy. That's 400 pounds that he's dragging. Alex Smith, Ben Smith's younger brother, is the man in the top portion of your screen. And they will not make it as the chaos comes to a close and pat felder takes the event and will pick up 100 points as he looks to work his way into a top three spot second career event win for pat felder and these guys came out on the floor not having any idea what to expect look at these guys what the heck have we gotten ourselves into but we start right off they knew they had a skier they knew they could go for it all these guys on the floor are very powerful with this move burpees were next a very common move nothing technical although if you're Brent Fikowski you use your high tier advantage but then all of a sudden Con Porter pulled himself out to the lead was smashing the field on the overhead squats same thing with the pistols basically by himself then they got to the box jumps. Now, if, if, if you were tall on the Zapparaz, it paid to be tall. If you weren't, then you had to work a little bit harder. So Matt had his work cut out for him. But Pat Bellner, man, I'll tell you what, resiliency with this guy. So calm, so con consistent on those box jump overs. No slowdown, no bobble. And then once he got himself onto that slug, he just held on, paid attention to where everybody was, and grind was grinding all the way through every single step, didn't slow down. A huge win for Pat Bellner, and man, I'm impressed more and more with this guy.